All right, so there really wasn't enough to talk about both trailers, but damn it, I was going to talk about both because at first I was like, okay, um, as per usual, this trailer drops in the middle of the night, I don't know, until someone says, hey, check this out, and yeah. Um, and then this other one, the other trailer comes out right when I was thinking, hey, they haven't done a trailer for this movie yet, and it's coming out in two weeks. And, yes, we're going to be talking about a... It, there wasn't enough for either trailer to really talk about, so I'm just going to smush them together and do a combined video for both. And that is uh, the trailers for Hellraiser, the new Hellraiser movie, and uh, Godzilla vs. Gigan Rex. Now, let's talk about the obvious one first. What is Godzilla vs. Gigan Rex? Godzilla vs. Gigan Rex is a Godzilla film that is in the same, like, it's going to be a Toho short film that's going to be here on YouTube. So if you're subscribed to the Toho YouTube channel, it's going to be a short film um, here on YouTube to watch. So I think that's really cool. I, um, they actually did another short film not too long ago to celebrate Godzilla vs. Hedera um, in a, with a Sudimation Godzilla film. So that was really cool. I don't think I did a, yeah, I don't think I did a review on it because it was just like, there's not much here, but it's really awesome. So, but this one is going to be a little different. And what I mean by that is, is that this film is going to be CGI. This film is going to be all CGI. This is going to be an all animated film, which looks fine. The CGI looks good. Um, I have no problem with it, but then again, it is a, it's probably going to be like a six, seven minute movie. So there really isn't much that, um, <laughs> there really isn't much honestly to do it like in terms of hey um this is uh this cgi is not great for what it does look like though it does look pretty good it looks serviceable um the one thing i have is that a couple things well the one thing is i i don't know how to feel about gigan's design i really don't know what to how to feel about gigan's design in particular and what I mean is, is like, first off, have I feel like I've seen that Gigan design before. I really do feel like I've seen that Gigan design somewhere, like as a concept somewhere. Um, I don't know where, but I feel like I've, I definitely feel like I've seen that Gigan design somewhere out on, out in the internet. Like I have definitely seen that Gigan design in particular out there in the internet, and I'm, I'm losing my mind over it. <laughs> like I feel like I've seen it. Am I? Is it like a what you call it? Um, uh, like a Mandela effect? Is it like a man? Is it like a Mandela effect I'm having right now? I don't know. But yeah, the Gigan designs. I don't know. They look all right. And when I say Gigans plural, I mean there's multiple Gigans in this. Like we clearly see. Godzilla, who the Godzilla design actually looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like a mixture of the Heisei and the singular point Godzilla. I really do like that. I really do like that this is like a cool mixture of singular point and Heisei. So, I really dig that. Um, and there's multiple Gigans. Like, it's a whole alien race. We And they're acting like the Titans from Attack on Titan where they're going around eating, look like they're eating people. And... Yeah, they're all fighting Godzilla, and then we get to Gigan Rex, and Gigan Rex is just a bigger Gigan who's red and silver. All right, cool, whatever. Um, yeah, it looks fun. It really. Uh, now I'm not trying to knock it because it does look fun, and it is nice to see Toho like do this kind of shit. I really do like that uh, that Toho is out here doing new things. That's why I was always excited about when the Godzilla vs. Smog Monster short film came out. So it's kind of cool that they're doing these cool experimental things here and there. And I really do like that. I really do like that they're really kind of pushing a lot in here with these film, with these short films. And I hope they keep doing them. I really hope we get a Godzilla, you know, Gira three-headed three monster 50th anniversary. Because this was supposed to celebrate, this Gigan one is apparently celebrating the anniversary um, for Godzilla vs. Gigan, just like the previous one was Godzilla vs. Smog Monster. So I'm kind of hoping, well, they do an anniversary one for for Ghidra. They'll probably be the next one. will probably be like a Minya one or an Ebera one. I, um, God. Could be Mechagodzilla, but yeah, it's it's really cool. I am really excited for, for this and hope they continue with more experimental stuff. 
So let's move on to our next um, our next trailer, which dropped out of out of nowhere, and I was like, "Holy shit, this is actually out!" And I'm really excited to see it and see where this all goes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the trailer. The finally, we get the trailer for Hellraiser. Two weeks away from the mo from the actual movie. Now I'm kind of riding high on Hulu after how good uh, Prey was. I'm actually really excited to see where they go with in terms of like after how good Prey was and with Clive Barker at the, you know more or less working on this. In fact, I was at, it was actually Clive Barker who first dropped the trailer. So you can clearly see that he is um, he's clearly like excited for this project. It's not like the other mountains of. Uh, Clive Barker, um, excuse me, Hellraiser stuff with that um, has been cluttering the ma the media and just been a bargain bin films for the longest time. Um, I am very curious to see this uh, to see this because it looks like a dark film and it looks like a well done film. And I know people are still out here like, oh, you know, what's up with Pinhead? Isn't Pinhead supposed to be a man? I'm like. No, this is supposed to be based off the books. So Pinhead is supposed to be, like, technically female, as technically sexually androgynous, but the way they describe Pinhead in the books, it's supposed to be, fe it's it's more feminine. And, yeah, you may think, well, this isn't what Clive Barker wanted. I'm like, Clive Barker wrote the book. Shut the fuck up. Um, and it also said that this is not a reboot i'm curious what that means is like they there's everyone's saying like this isn't a reboot which makes me wonder like okay um where are you going with this um and it makes me i'm gonna throw this theory out if it's true that this isn't a um if this is not a um reboot this is not a reboot and more of a requel to the film to the original films probably one and two um it makes me wonder if the, the the new pinhead we have is Christy. It makes me wonder if it, it like it like if that's true, then it does make me wonder. Could it be Christy is who is the new pinhead? Like it could like they did that in the com in the comics that were written by Clive Barker and his team. So that would actually be kind of cool if they brought Christy Allen back in a way and made her pinhead. I mean, it, it's not the same actress. Obviously, it's a. Um, trans actress which they again wanted to get closer to what it was in the books and i do like the new the a lament configuration and how it's you like how it's stylized more and how like there's now six different configurations you can do um that looks really cool i'm really excited for it i am m curious to see the other cenobites i really want i do we get i think we got a quick glimpse of chatterer in here we i think we did get a, a quick glimpse of a uh, of chatterer in this but i'm not 100 percent sure um about the others i'm definitely not 100 percent sure where the others fall like where the other like butterball and the and the female and the other cenobites fall in and if we'll get them at all it looks gory it does look like it's gonna promise on the gore, which I'm. That's that's the important thing. Just the stylized, artsy, dark kind of uh, gore feel to it. So I'm excited for that. Um, yeah, this this just looks fun. This I'm very excited, and it's been a film I've been very excited for. Um, and again, I'm riding high on Hulu after how good Prey was. But I understand that Hellraiser is under a different studio, different from from Prey. That was 20th Century Fox. Here it's Spyglass. So we'll see how the quality goes. Like, could this be another sleeper hit like uh, like uh, like Prey, or is this going to peter out? Who who the fuck knows? Um, I will say though that like a lot of people were wondering, like with Prey, um, Prey didn't get a trailer until like a few weeks before uh the movie dropped and then it suddenly hit so the fact that this is coming out like two weeks before the trailer it like it could either be like a red flag of but then again that's streaming in general where they usually premiere trailers um only shortly before because it's not like you're gonna wait around on your streaming site and just constantly be rem reminded of it so they do the quick little here's the trailer it's coming out in a few weeks get hype now it's always about the now 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 so there you go, guys. Um, 
So yeah, you guys tell me in the comments below. What do you guys think of Godzilla vs. Gigan Rex as well as the Hellraiser trailer? You guys excited or are you guys not? Um, just comment below, let me know. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.